What's up, YouTube? I got most of the Gremlins worked out of this Turbo LS here. Um, still doing some tuning. I have the, a couple of places I'm lean uh, right when the boost starts coming on, but that's just messing around with the carburetor. But for the most part, um, all the heavy work is done inside the engine bay, so I'm ready to start painting this thing. I know it's going to be a long process, um, probably several months or so of just blocking the whole car out. So. Um, this is actually what I started on the car. Um, this is the first thing I started doing was sanding the roof down and I had an old 350 in there and <clears throat> I knew I wanted more power and I didn't want to be installing a motor on a fresh paint job. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can paint a car in your garage and see what it turns out like. So um, this will be my first paint job. Uh, thankfully I have a, a neighbor that's a retired paint and body guy so he is going to Make sure he's gonna keep me in between the lines. Make sure I do everything right, and uh, should have a pretty solid looking paint job by the end of it. Um, this the car's paint currently isn't really too bad, um, but the roof on the car started cracking, so I sanded down the roof, and uh, there's just some really some thick bondo spots. So I might need to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of metal work on the roof possibly. But right now, all I got to do is um, sand the surface rust off. Give it one more good block, and I'm gonna do a direct to metal. Um, and I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. So this is the this is the primer I'm gonna use. I wanted something that I can easily run and go get. I probably should have went to a paint shop or whatever. But I'm gonna give this summit stuff a try. I've heard it's been pretty good. So um, since I am going on right to the roof, this is a, uh, a high build, but it's a direct to metal. So if you're gonna paint, um, if you're gonna put primer in your car. You, and you're hitting metal, make sure you get something that says DTM on it. Um, where else you, you don't want moisture to get trapped underneath there. You don't you, you want a good, a good seal. Um, where else you have problems down the road. That possibly what happened. This car has been repainted at least, at least once in its life. Um, so yeah, I'm going to run this. Uh, so it's time to get sanding. So I'm going to do a little bit of sanding. Get this thing blocked off. I'll tape up the windows. Put some plastic up. And we'll prime the roof. At least it'll look much better rolling around town. I've been ra rolling around like this in the hoopty wagon. So, all right, one of the most important parts of the whole entire paint job is by far the bodywork. Um, if you just go out there, you say, "Oh, the paint was all right before," and especially if you're going black or whatever, whatever was on here before will show up through that paint. You cannot cover up anything. It's not like painting a wall in your house. Um, especially with black. So one of the most important things you're gonna need for the paint job, you're gonna need sanding blocks. So you want a various different shapes and sizes. I probably need to get some more, honestly. Um, a real long one's really good for big surface areas like that. This one's got a little bit of flex to it, so it can kind of contour towards the roof and really take out all the like small imperfections. And I have this one, which is a little shorter guy, but it's extremely stiff. So this one's be really good for like sharp body lines, kind of smaller areas, like your style lines going on the side of the car. Um, I'll show you a couple of techniques to hit that from each side. And you want the, you know, kind of crisping everything up a little bit, make everything nice and razor sharp. Um, it's gonna be awesome. For the roof of the car though, I'm gonna use this. And <clears throat> these aren't that expensive. I think I've paid like just like, I don't know, 20, 20 30 bucks for this. Um, you can get a pack of Durablox, that's probably the, Easiest way to go. There's by far, like everything else, you can you can spend, I don't know, probably more than a thousand bucks on blocks if you wanted to, maybe even a couple of thousand. But if you're just a dude in your garage like me, you don't need nothing crazy like that. And there we go. So this paper, um, this is just a sh just a sticky sheet. Um, this is good stuff. What is this? This is Dura Gold. You can get it on. Amazon or whatever. I'll post a link in the description. All right, so I should have been recording all of this, but the whole process before I, I guess I should say, uh, I sanded this several months ago. Um, then I got distracted by doing a turbo LS and all that. So I put everything else on hold. So for the roof of the car, um, I got down to the bare metal in most places, so I'm just going to use go over this one more time, knock off the surface stresses, basically all I'm doing, and uh, check for any, any cracks or anything, anything crazy, um, anywhere I might need to do some metal work, but I'm going <clears> to <throat> block the whole roof real quick, and then 
I'll lay down some primer and after that let the primer dry and I'm going to do some um, some guide coat and then we're going to reblock it and all of the low spots will be real nice and black and that's where I know I need to either do metal work underneath or do some some bondo or some body filler of some sort um, so yeah one step at a time so I just do this on weekends here and there so sometimes I'll come out here for a couple hours sometimes I'll come out all day it just depends so The surface knocked off. Let me show you guys a little something here. <laughs> Let me see where this big old din is. Something something happened to the car back in the day there. And jeez, I don't know what happened here, but three little divots in there. I mean that is deep. That looks like one of those little stud welders or something like they um maybe had a big dent here and they put one of those studs on there and pulled it out. I see a little something there. Um, the rest of the roof has been all right. I had a little bit of cracking here. Most of my cracking was actually up here, and I can feel a good little way. There was this was super thick with body filler. Put way got before put way too much on it. Um, so got most of that off and knocked the the surface rust off a little bit more right here. Out. You can see it just keeps filling up right there, and then I don't know what happened right here, but um, this this area was definitely worked, and that's super wavy, so that's going to take some work. Might have to. Do some metal work on that maybe get from the inside and knock it out but i was trying to avoid having to pull the headliner but for the most part it's in decent shape um i know that these are like known to rust real bad in this area so um got lucky there all right i'm gonna knock this dust off of here and do a little wipe down and we're going to test out this this summit primer so i'll be right back all right time to mix this stuff up pretty simple just it's a uh, four part to one part so um you can't really see the lines on the camera this is a measuring cup so put four parts in there add one part reducer and you're good to go so let's spray this thing all right i am using this harbor freight special um my brother-in-law used my paint gun last and when I took it apart it's full of blue paint but he left this so Brandon if you're watching this appreciate it
quick and easy. I gotta make quick work of this. Not gonna lie, this has me freaking bumped. I am, <laughs> I don't even want to, uh, I'm sad I'm stopping here. So, game plan, I'm gonna work the roof. You can already see those couple of big old dents over there. So, um, I'm gonna let this dry, put a uh, guide coat on it, and start blocking the roof. But main thing is I wanted to seal the roof, stop the, uh, stop the surface rust from showing up and uh, get this thing nice and sealed up. <clears throat> and at least I won't be riding around town with a uh, roof that's all bare metal and looks kind of junky, so. But yeah, pretty exciting. A lot of work ahead, so. Yeah, tons of work ahead. Subscribe, follow along. Um, I'll post videos every time I kind of come out here and mess with this a little bit, and then at the end I'll probably do like a, a big long, um, like how-to video, kind of compile everything. But for now, just follow the journey. Thanks.